Oh, I stubbed my toe. Ow. Oh my gosh, it's bleeding. Oh, ah. ow, ow, ow. and welcome back to another vlog today it is thursday may 28th and i am starting the vlog at a solid five o'clock in the afternoon it is what it is am i right as you guys saw i was going to the mailbox to get a package and i ended up stubbing my toe so bad it literally started bleeding everywhere i was stumbling back into the kitchen to go clean it up now my toe is bandaged i should not be showing my feet on the internet for free welcome to another vlog today has been a great day so far i slept in my room is clean my grandparents came into town. They came into town today. I'm so excited to see them. It's been five, almost six months since I saw my Mimi and Papa. Just been hanging with them. They got in around an hour and a half ago. I filmed for my main channel video. I wanted to vlog just a little bit, so I wanted to do this one unboxing of this Amazon package. You know, I don't know if it was worth stubbing my toe and cutting my whole toe open for, but here's my package. <laughs> These are camera batteries because if you don't know, I film on my Canon M50. The Canon M50 comes with one battery and then I bought two separate batteries so I could always have backup batteries. Then I lost the Canon battery that came with the camera. One of the other batteries that I bought separately doesn't work anymore, so I only have one battery left. And it has been so annoying trying to vlog and film main channel videos using only one battery, so I had to buy two more. This is what it looks like. I love my Canon M50. It's a DSLR, but it's a smaller DSLR. Some camera terms. You can see my chargers in the back for both of my cameras, but here we go. I'm gonna charge her right now. We'll charge this one when it's done. So I'm glad I got that. I wanted to talk to you guys about my new discoveration. Is that a word? My new discovery of water bottles. <laughs> Everybody knows I love water. I drink so much water. And recently I've been using my Katie cup. I just get a cup and put one of my straws in it. And I will talk about my straws in a second. It reminds me to drink so much more water. And I rediscovered my hydro flask. This is a hydro flask. If you guys were subscribed during my era of when I was a visco girl. I created the Visco Girl trend on YouTube and like transforming into a Visco Girl. My video went like viral. I used to use this Hydro Flask every single day for a solid like six months and then I just kind of forgot about it. It was in the top of my closet forever and then since I've been re-loving water bottles again, I took it out of the closet, washed it all up, and now we're here. The only thing is I hate having to unscrew the lid every single time so I just don't have the lid and I just have my straw. Now let me talk to you about the straw. These are by the brand Flathead and I'll have them linked in my Amazon shop down below. I love my Amazon shop and I link everything for you guys these are where those are from it came in a pack of like 10 or 12 and they are the best straws ever they're silicone and they come in so many fun colors you can get different packs and stuff and they're reusable so they're so nice i just love drinking out of straws i think it's so much better than drinking out of anything else i know it's extremely random and a lot of people drink out of water bottles but i've been enjoying it a lot so here we are on this fine afternoon i was just watching ava jewels on my ipad i've been loving my ipad so much this was a great purchase for me i don't know if it was necessary but i've been loving it i got my big tripod out. I normally just kind of set this over here and hide it from the world when I'm not using it. I filmed on it on my main channel today and then these are like a ton of packages for that video. I filmed the bikini haul. Not the try on, just the sit down where I showed all the bikinis. Just because you guys know in my last vlog I talked about it. I started my shark week and I don't feel too confident. So filmed the sit down part. I also imported the footage into my laptop. I had to use this as lighting. <laughs> these are all trash that I need to throw away and then I need to hang this t-shirt up. Y'all have like loved my closet. Closet, which I think is so fun because I love my closet. I finally have a bikini bucket for all my bikinis. These are the only tank tops that I'm keeping and then from here up I'm donating, selling, and giving away all of these clothes but I didn't want to just have them on my floor so I put them in here. These are the only tank tops that I'm keeping just for reference. <laughs> you will see all my bikinis soon in that haul video on my main channel. This is brand new, never worn it before but it's very cute. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. We're gonna try and add it to the black shirt section. It is so hard to hang clothes with one hand. My toe hurts so bad, oh my gosh. It was bleeding everywhere, dude. I'm bored, can you tell? Update on the fishies. I literally vlogged yesterday, but here's a little update. They are swimming and enjoying themselves. Go watch my fish vlog if you did it, but they are thriving. Bunion and bubblegum are besties. I had to refill and put a little bit more water in their tank and I added some cleaner and stuff. And they're doing so well. Look, they're exploring. Also, since I cleared out space in my drawers, I made this like a camera equipment drawer. So I have my camera bag in here, my AirPods with this Forky case on them. A subscriber gave these to me and I literally love them. The Forky case is amazing and it looks so cute on my AirPods. Then here's my Apple Pencil, my camera mic, my small camera, and then my adapter. So I've been loving having this. Ooh, I know what I can do. I can get the camera battery, one of them that we just got, 
and put it in here. Perfect. And then once that separate camera battery charges, we'll also put it in here. I just went outside and took a few pictures. I don't know if any of them are good. Whenever I put makeup on for the day, I always try to take some sort of Instagram picture because five or six out of the seven days a week, I don't wear makeup. So when I do wear it, I want to get like all my content, you know, and I don't want to be ugly. So hopefully I just took some good pictures. My dad took them for me. I had a pair of shoes on and put them back. Now I'm going to the grocery store. My dad is making dinner and we don't have that much food in our house right now. So I have to go to Publix and get some groceries. Publix is only like a Florida and Georgia thing. So if you don't know what Publix is, it's just a grocery store. I just had on this tank top underneath my red shirt that I was wearing when I was filming. And then I took it off to go take pictures. And I'm going to put my red shirt back on. I do indeed have a list of like seven things that he needs me to get from the grocery store. I need to find my mask. I don't know where I put it last. Oh, here it is. Katie's Corner. But when I go in public, I wear it like this. <laughs> We're back in the OG outfit. I need my phone and my monies. And we are going to go take the Katie Coop. Cam put his whole scooter right in front of my car so I would not be able to back it out. Publix is literally two miles away from my house. Okay, I need to ask my dad about this. I don't know how to turn the windshield wipers off. It literally says my car windshield wipers are off and they're still going off like crazy. I just made him go down. I'm so smart. <laughs> All right. I got a lot of comments in my last vlog of people asking me why I don't want to vlog and drive simply because it's not safe and I am a newer driver. So I just don't want to distract myself in that way. My parents would most definitely take my neck off because they watch all my videos and if they saw me doing that, they would not enjoy that. So now I'm gonna put on the serotonin playlist and go jam for two miles. We have arrived. It is very sunny outside. My eye looks quite cool though. <laughs> I have my list on my phone. It's so hot in here. Oh, I need my car key. Let's go. <laughs> I don't really want to vlog that much because I want to get in and out. I have everything besides dried cranberries, strawberries, hummus, lettuce, Caesar dressing, but I can't find dried cranberries anywhere. I feel like it would be in this section because we put dried cranberries on salads, but I still can't find any. Taking off a mask once I'm back in my car, like after being out, has got to be one of the best feelings ever. I have so much found respect for the people that have to work during this time. Oh, y'all good? The tripod just doesn't want to balance right now. I said I have so much respect for the people who have to work right now. I forget what it's called. The workers, something workers. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. The people who are have to work right now, I have so much respect for you. Wearing a mask literally for 10 minutes being in there was like, I'm headed home now. We only needed like five things. I couldn't find cranberries still. Successful public trip. It is so hot outside. Like Y'all can see how red my cheeks are. It's just so humid. With all that being said, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow for some more vlog because nothing really interesting is probably gonna happen anymore. Good afternoon, guys. So I woke up at 1 p.m. and it is now 1.57. As soon as I woke up, I just had to do some business stuff. I worked on my merch shop. On my two most popular t-shirts, we added a bunch of new colors, so I'm so excited. And hopefully you guys will like those new colors for the summer. If you go shop the link down below and shop my merch, my two t-shirts now have a ton more colors, purples, oranges there's always been yellows but there's different shades of blue and i'm really excited about it so you can check those out if you want my dad and i just spent like an hour doing that kind of stuff and then i got one amazon package but i can't show you because it's a secret gift for cole i don't know how interesting today's vlog is gonna be i feel like yesterday actually turned out being a little interesting i'm going to walmart with my friend today and i need to figure out what time we're going because we need to get some stuff for something so Special. I feel like I'm just keeping all these surprises. <laughs> and then I need to get changed because I've been wearing this t-shirt for way too long. I know what I'm gonna do before I get dressed and ready for the day. I have to fill my bikini try on. Why do I look so red? There we go. I have to fill my bikini try on portion for this video because I filmed the sit down portion yesterday, as you guys saw. And now I need to film the try on, which is what I'm most scared about because I'm insecure and I really don't wanna broadcast my whole body to the internet, but I'm not doing this to please others. I'm doing this to help others. I wanna help other teen girls find their best bikinis and show what they look like on realistic body types, which is me, because I'm a medium-sized girl. So, yeah. You saw yesterday, here's the bikini bin. I have so many to try on, which is gonna take me forever. Y'all will love this video and I'm really excited about it. We need to set up the tripod. It's not that bright outside, so we probably will need this tiny ring light as well. This is the setup, let me try these on. All right, my camera's on the tripod that I was using to film my bikini haul. That literally took me over an hour to film. Now I'm eating some strawberries with some almond butter. I already ate a lot of them, but this is so good. I love strawberries. Let me move this tripod so I can sit down. I'm going to Walmart with my friend Bernstein at 4.30 and Chase just came into my room. 
and wants to go to Publix to get jam to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And we also need more almond butter. So we'll probably go to Publix if my dad lets us. He just wants to get out of the house because he doesn't ever leave the house. So that means to go to Publix to get jam. Chases down. We'll see though. He ran upstairs to ask my dad. It's been a while since he came back, so it might be a no. What did dad say? Chase is sad because my dad will only let him get jam if he pays for it. <laughs> Why? Because I, I want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> then buy $3 jam. No. If it means we can get out of the house, it's right, worth fine. it. Alright, Let's go. I have to put pants on. <laughs> okay. Looks like Chase is going to be buying some jam so just so we can get out the uh, house. Hi, guys. <laughs> it is a lot of days later, but I just wanted to add a little bit more to this vlog. A little P.O. Box unboxing. Just because I got a lot of stuff sent to my P.O. Box and I thought I'd share with you guys. Most of the people that send stuff to my P.O. Box subscribe to this channel as well because they're like the hardcore fans. So I thought I'd give them a little shout out. Macy actually runs her own scrunchie company and she sent me a bunch of these and I'm so excited. The packaging is adorable there's a little yellow one in there for me which is perfect and then this really sweet note so check her out on instagram at macy's creations it also came this really cute package thank you so much macy lila from me where's that i read these already i just put them back in here she sent me this really sweet note with like a picture of her dog so that's super cute thank you so much i just realized i probably shouldn't have all put them back once i read them if i was just gonna do another unboxing but it's okay parker sent me a really really sweet note and she drew my logo on the back of the envelope it's so good and so pretty and she said she made the envelope yellow purposely for me so I really love that thank you so much Parker that's also a beautiful name Lily sent me this super super cute package and it has rainbows all over it that's amazing I love them she also sent me bracelets thank you so much Alex from Johnstown Pennsylvania sent me this really nice letter and this bracelet I'm pretty sure it was her I might be getting it confused it's always hard for me to re remember which one came from which person but one of these sweet people sent me this bracelet which I already put on my wrist because I love it so much. Thank you Alex. If this was her if not I still love you. Thank you for sending me a letter. Emma from Alabama sent me a very nice letter. Chloe from North Myrtle Beach. <laughs> That's in Florida. Thank you for your letter. And finally Maddie from Ella J, Georgia which is right by my mountain cabin sent me this really nice package and she sent me some sketching pencils which is super sweet and I appreciate that so much. Thank you to all of you that sent me some P.O. Box stuff. If you ever want to send me anything my P.O. Box is in the description box. I will read it. I keep it all and I thank you all very very much with that being said thank you for watching this vlog i love you so much and i'll hopefully see you guys in the next one go follow my instagram i just posted a picture because i went to the pool today and i will see you in the next one peace and released